I mean, I'm tired of just being on the road, getting on the road and driving. You know, this has been during the coronavirus. And so you're seeing this way down the road for various reasons, safety, all of it. And I brought a bag of my mom and dad's letters that they wrote me some, I don't know, 30 years ago. And I'd like to read them and then dump them. Um, I don't want to keep going back to them. I just, it's too much going back to the past. I want to enjoy them. And I thought, what a better day than a rainy day at a beautiful rest stop, things to look at. It's supposed to rain than to go through mom and dad's letters. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just made my coffee. I'm gonna hunker down and be on my way. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. This is what I'm up against today, guys. A big stack of letters. <laughs> a card, April 1988. Sure has been a long time. Congratulations on the new baby. Uh, that would be my daughter. Oh my gosh. Crazy, crazy. Not sure why I felt the need to write a two-page letter to a babysitter instead of just telling her stuff. Uh, play on the floor with him with his donuts, stack him or snap lock beads or whatever. Seriously? Like she couldn't figure this stuff out? Micromanager here. Some things never change, although I have gotten quite better. <laughs> this is 30 some years ago. Even just sitting his chair watching TV sometimes calms him. Sure. Uh, things to relieve crankiness. Swing, high chair, walker with toys around the coffee table. How to warm up the bottle. We run it under tap water. Like, seriously, why couldn't I just tell her this stuff and know that she would be smart enough to, to get it? I don't know. She was our next-door neighbor. She was kind of young. I think she was, like, 11. Maybe that's my reason. Oh, yeah. Lord, help me. This is some notes from my mom, things that, uh, that she did. 1991. She dated many of her letters, which is very cool. August 1987. House where I was born and raised has a lot of meaning to me. It was part of a farm, which included a barn, dairy room, chicken and turkey coops. The memories of this home are many. One of the earliest was of my rocking the iron crib in which my younger brother slept while mother went to the, to the barn to help with the milking. It also reminds me of scrubbing the walls before I learned to scrub floors. Wow. The kitchen, of course, is one of my favorite many memories. The baking, cooking, eating, and talking. Talking while mother worked. Uh, sharing of all we uh, did each day. Then there was the dining room where mother would uh, sit our best china for dinner with relatives my spe and on special occasions. But I best loved the dining room for the old rocker that sat next to the radiator. It was in that old chair that father would take me on his knee after his chores were finished and it was dark. He would read me a story or tell me about the new pony or calf or litter of pigs. Now the living room, we didn't use much as it seemed like the center of our Activity was what was either in the kitchen or dining room. Even when I had the chicken pox, I sat on the board top on the radiator and mother capture, uh, catered to my whims. Best of all, this old house meant my loved ones were there and on them I could depend. Now, how can I throw that out? Like, seriously? This is going to be, this is going to be a challenge. 
I don't know. Put in the comments, guys. I mean, I read that. I know it. Do I need to read it again? Do I need to smile about it and read it again? Um, I, I don't know. It gives me a warm fuzzy, but so do future things, you know? Here's a letter from my uh, Aunt Lila, which was my mom's Mother's sister. Yes. And she really liked me. And she was a hard, hardworking, stern lady. The mind of her own. And many people often told me, uh, you're just like your Aunt Lila. <laughs> which later on, I decided to take that as quite the compliment. Okay, so... You know, and then I've got some letters from my dad who didn't write that often. Where are they at? I don't know. And then I have, okay, a note that looks like, I don't know, a note from my sister, mom writing at me, right, yeah, writing at me, writing to me at, uh, at church camp. Oh my gosh. Yep, more from church camp. I don't know. I just don't know what to do, guys. I got letters here that I wrote back home. Uh, for Derek reference, an angel from heaven. I had re read these before. I showed you Black Fox Drive in an earlier video, see? When I was living in Texas, and I wrote this to Mom, and... To my husband and myself, a letter from mom with lots of love and every good wish, mom and dad. I don't know, guys. I know I'm going on and on here. Do you all have a stack of letters like this? Well, this is what I'm going to do today, and I just made some scrambled eggs. I have some coffee, and Andy's kind of bored with the whole situation. All righty, later. Perfect day to read old letters, right? Some that are 50 years old and more. Okay, here's one from my sister. Hope you got to color guard camp okay. She told me all about what they did. They were going to have a sleepover, but she didn't go. Love from your sister, Kathy. You know what? I'm just deciding or just, I'm not done too much. I'm throwing them on the ground to pitch. And then I'll pick them all up. Hopefully I won't go back through them. I'm eating a 50 cent pie from Walmart. <laughs> Anxiety here. <laughs> that I am such a visual that this brings me to a, a, another place in time. And I, I think that's enjoyable. But I'm also, you know, and I'm feeling the feelings. But at the same time. It goes back to sharing. You know, my daughter's, I, I put these in a, uh, one of these little dollar baskets now so that they're all contained. And this is what, this is my project today. But, you know, I don't have anybody to share these with, nor do people have the time. It's not like my daughter and I are going to get together one day and we're going to read old letters. You know, half of them are going to be so meaningless to her. And... The other half is just going to be yaddy yaddy, where it all just runs together. So, I'm hoping I can downsize this and keep this to maybe, I don't know, 10, 20 letters max. I'm throwing a couple up here, a couple that made me smile already. So, these will be some keepers. So, I don't know. Dear mom and dad, got to make this a quickie because Derek and I are going to the store to get some decorator icing. <laughs> oh, he was cranky and then he got his poo-poo out and now he's laughing and dropping Cheerios all over the floor. What's a mama to do? Oh, over and over he pleases us when we're most upset. Even the way we said things back then is weird. I mean, this was back in the early 80s my husband and I where we might go for dinner and about all of the things that he has to do I always had a long long uh, playlist or long to-do list for him uh, we got a $70 phone bill I always wrote around the outside edges I may get some waitress work while my husband's at home and uh, yeah part-time waitress work we need the money I, and I can taste it. I mean, I don't say that anymore. 
<laughs> I don't think I do. How oh, much? Thanks for the fifteen dollars. I mean, uh, sent some pictures. Hope they ease the distance, if that's possible. I sent some pictures to mom and dad of their grandson. Wow. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in the keeper for now. Maybe my son would enjoy reading that someday. I or finding it. Okay. Well, we've got a long ways to go and I'm not going to show you every other letter, I promise. I may pull some out at the end here and let you know what I come up with. So I'm going to keep reading <laughs> and Andy's going to look out the window and maybe doze off here and there. Here we are, 1973. From mom to me at church camp, put a load of towels in the dryer. After coming back from Super Dollar, I haven't thought about Super Dollar forever, and now I know exactly where the store is, and it's in my head where we went. I'm waiting for the water to cool down a little bit now to do some more wash and wear. We've been thinking of you and hope you're having a real good time. There's not any real news from me to write. Kathy filled you in concerning blah, blah. The weather was very nice here today, and I do hope you have good weather. Tomorrow is Dad's payday, and we are going to eat out and go to pay some bills. More memories. That's when they had their big day out. Kathy's watching Lucy. Loved Lucy. Oh, my gosh. It'd be nice if you have time for you to drop Aunt Lila a note. We had meatloaf for supper tonight. Oh, my gosh. It's now 11 o'clock. Uh, you know, this kind of letter is like, it's just the, that little chit chat, you know, that's what I miss. I miss the, how's the weather? You know, I so appreciate when I get phone calls and emails and s such, because it's just those little things in life. You know, what are you up to? What are you doing? Even if it's same old, same old, mom used to write the same old, same old to me. And I know I embraced every letter she got, that she sent, took the time to write. And I wrote back to her too, you know? It was pretty cool, pretty cool. 